Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Today we move to the new topic, our SPF routing protocol. Um, but before we explore what is our SPF and how it works, how uh, config it, and there are some basic uh, concept we need to understand. And the firstly, um, you know we had the three kind routes, um, set connected route, static route and uh, dynamic route um, corresponding we had the two kind of routing uh, static routing and dynamic routing protocol um, in the video we explore how to configure static routing and how it works and you know um, static route is non adaptive routing which means the routes will not change even something change in your network Um, so uh, this is the reason why static routing is not suitable for the large network uh, because in the large network the chain occurs frequently uh, and uh, using static route is uh, will be can benefit for engineer during configuration so um, in this case uh, we choice dynamic routing is by choice um, Uh, dynamic routing has capability to auto uh, update route when chain occurs, reducing the downtime. Um, but uh, dynamic routing protocol lies uh, OABFs uh, use a complex uh, algorithm to calculate routes. Also, uh, custom uh, uh, hardware is to process and the bandwidth to propagate the route in the network. Uh, And uh, we also had the uh, two term uh, needs to be clear when we learn uh, network. Uh, first, the routing protocol. Um, routing protocol um, used by router to exchange uh, the route, analyze uh, the route, and then uh, put the route in its routing table. And uh, routing protocol, uh, router will forward the bucket. Defined by the routing protocol, um, we had OSPF, ERGRB, or BGB uh, routing protocol, and we had uh, ABV4 uh, assemble for the routing protocol. Um, router used the routing protocol to forward the routing protocol bucket to uh, destination. Okay, and so um, the tag of routing protocol. The firstly, um, router use the routing protocol to learning route from neighbor uh, and advertise route to the neighbor. Uh, for example, when uh, we complete the configuration, routing configuration on two router, the two router is uh, start the advertise route to the neighbor and the remote the neighbor will use the routing protocol to learning route and after that it calculate and enjoy the best route uh, learning from uh, remote router and then import into the routing table um, uh, if the, there's something uh, change in the network for example the box uh, down uh, the router will inform to the remote router and remote router will calculate and uh, update the route uh, into the its routing table Uh, we call it conversion um, about classification uh, the dynamic routing uh, can be uh, classified into the two kinds RGB and EGB um, a route, a IGB uh, routing protocol the word is designed for and intended for the uh, using in the single uh, autonomous system and EGB um, using between the different autonomous system uh, here we had a new concept uh, autonomous system is um, autonomous system uh, is a number uh, defined by um, I, uh, IANA internet assigned number and uh, this is a network uh, controlled by the one organization Uh, for example, your computer build the network environment for business. So <coughs> the network con, uh, con is a one AS number. 
uh, because uh, your company pay and created the uh, network so they had the full control uh, permission in this network uh, we had another example uh, this is an uh, internet service provider ISP um, the, this ISP builds uh, the network and sell the service based on the, the network right so uh, we call the one ASP is one uh, single uh, AS um, by design um, some routing protocol um, um, it's best choice for to work in a single uh, AS and um, they call the RGB and um, routing protocol designed to work between the AS we call the EGB the uh, nowadays um, the AS number is controlled by uh, IANA Internet Asanix number uh, if your company has an IS number it means um, uh, your organization is contacting to the uh, author uh, because there's some reason uh, it's change around communicate for business something uh, something like that um, if uh, your company don't have the AI number it means your company don't need to communicate with um, another company uh, but uh, you know in some case uh, some um, company use BTB route protocol for the routing in internal only um, so they pick a one AS number for this bubble so we call uh, the AS is the private AS number uh, the private AS number same like the private IPv4 you in the internal only not the uh, uh, communicate in the public world okay mm, we go to the IGB classification um, in the IGB uh, classification we had a uh, two kind um, link state and uh, distance state uh, link state using the distra algorithm and uh, be my thought you for the distance uh, faster um, OSBF is a link state, uh, link state protocol and EHAB is a distant meter it's a very famous uh, example um, this protocol has strain and clinic uh, for example uh, distant vector had a conversion speed uh, is low but this uh, custom the CPU and memory is low um, and a link state um, conversion is very fast but it's consumed the high CPU in addition, the EHRB is a Cisco proprietary protocol, so only Cisco device box this protocol, and OSPF is a standard protocol. Almost vendors box the protocol on their device. Okay, um, the finally, in this today, we had the ITB concept, um, metric and administrative distance. Um, routing protocol shows the best route to reach the destination by using metric. A route with low metric is best route. Each routing protocol um, we had a different metric calculation. Uh, I had assembled the OSBF metric. Um, this is got this is a sum of on interface cost setting for the only in the route and how um, calculation we will explore in the next videos uh, and EHB uh, base uh, use uh, bandwidth and delay or RIP use metric is hop count uh, the number of router between the source and uh, destination about the uh, administrative distance um, the router choice route with the lowest ID value if it has a multi route learning from different protocol um, for example, if uh, two routing, if the router had a two routing protocol, OSBF and EIGRB, and it learned the one subnet from neighbor uh, using the two uh, routing protocol, so it will choose the route learning from EIGRB protocol because the EIGRB route had ID lowers. Um, is um, protocol uh, has uh, different ID. For example, OSBF had uh, 
ID is one uh, uh, one uh, um, uh, ID is 90 and BGB has um, ID is two two ID um, 20 and 200 um, 20 is for um, BGB and 200 for the IBGB okay um, I think today is short video we just talk about um, uh, the basic concept in routing um, same like the overview uh, the routing words and uh, next uh, video we talk about OSPF the concept and how to config the OSPF thank you for watching and uh, see you in next video uh, hope you get your like and subscribe my channel friend bye bye